this video, we're looking at how to install Access Server on Google Cloud Platform or GCP. As you can see, I'm logged into the Access Server portal. If this is the first time you're logging into this portal, you'll see these two options, purchase a subscription or try a free version. But if you have already logged into the Access Server and this is your second or third time that logging into the portal, you'll see this screen. Uh, with the two options of manage your plan or get access server. No matter whichever uh, screen you're on, if you click on get access server or you click on get your free version, you will be redirected to this page that you can choose your installation method. Since we're talking about uh, Google Cloud Platform or GCP, we're going to click on this link. The following screen, you're going to see that we have an option to go to the marketplace and a documentation about how to uh, quick uh, install Access Server quickly on Google Cloud Platform. Let's go back to Portal. And uh, there are a couple of other links here to configure. If you click on that, it's going to take you to uh, Knowledge Base, Configure Access Server Articles, and so on. So we're going to click on Go to the Marketplace. And that's going to take us to GCP Marketplace. And here we go. As you can see, the Open VPN Access Server is here. This is a fully functioned access server. You can click on Launch. You can see the version here, uh, so you can make sure that you're using the latest version. Also, the operating system that the access server is going to get installed on. So let's go ahead and click on Launch. And we're going to get to our um, access server deployment page. Here, we're going to give a name to this deployment. So let me go ahead and type a name here for our um, virtual machine. I'm just going to call it OVN-Access um, Server. And then uh, for the zone, uh, make sure you choose the appropriate zone um, uh, on US West-A, so I'm going to choose that. For the machine type, I'm going to choose the default one, leave it as it is, but make sure you go through everything and you choose uh, the, div uh, the uh, right machine for your network. When it comes to networking, if you drop that down under external IP or public IP, you're going to see that it is marked as um, e ephemeral public IP address. Now, this indicates that the server public IP address may change in the future. Now, a public IP is essential for VPN clients to access the OpenVPN access server via internet and to prevent potential connection disruptions due to a changing IP we really recommend assigning a static by a public IP address to this virtual machine. So you can click on the dropdown and choose it, uh, change it to static. And if you need more information on how to do this, you can click on the question mark next to it. When it comes to the firewall rules, um, these are automatically configured based on our recommended settings. All of these ports have a specific purpose, which is explained in our documentations. You can find those on our website. You can specify restriction here, but keep in mind that that may negatively affect how Access Server functions. For example, if you block access to the HTTPS port, you may also accidentally be blocking access to the OpenVPN uh, TCP tunnel fallback in case the OpenVPN UDP tunnel is blocked. Then down here, if you expand uh, more, you're going to see the IP, IP forwarding. IP forwarding allows packets to travel between network interfaces for, from VPN clients to the GCP network. So this, is, and this needs to be enabled. So you need to make sure that it's on. And then when you're ready, click on Deploy. Now, our uh, virtual machine is being deployed. This is going to take a couple of minutes. So I'm going to fast forward through this part and then come back when it's done. OK. Our deployment is done. As you can see, Access Server is deployed. There are a few pieces of information we need to get from this screen. On the right side, you can see that uh, we have a link to our admin UI. Also, we have the uh, admin username and the uh, temporary password. So uh, we need to make a note of these. And then if you click on the admin uh, UI link, it's going to take us uh, to the admin user interface. Let me copy this temporary password, come back here. The username is OpenVPN, as we saw it in a second ago. We're going to type the temporary password and click on Sign In. The very first time when you log in, you're going to get the license agreement. You agree to that, and we're going to come to the activation key. Now, in order to get the activation key, you can just 
uh, go straight to the uh, admin uh, or access server portal, or you can uh, click on get activation key. No matter what, it's going to take you to access, access server portal, and under activation keys, this is where you can choose the number of connections that you need. You can um, choose the number once you're done uh, and happy. You can choose if you want to be built annually or monthly, and then you can click on proceed. And then you need to type your uh, billing information, credit card information, and then continue. For the purpose of this demo, we're just going to use the two free version. And uh, while I'm on the subscription page, I'm going to copy this, uh, this activation key by clicking on this icon and then head back to my um, admin UI and paste it here and click on activate. So that's going to take a second. And as you can see, our subscription is activated and uh, everything is good to go. One last thing I'm going to show you is uh, changing the temporary password for admin. If you remember, during the installation, a temporary password was assigned to the OpenVPNR admin account. So what we're going to do, we're going to change that password. In order to change that password, expand user management, go to user permissions, and you can see OpenVPN here. Click on more settings, and then uh, where it says change password, we can type in new password. Again, this is we're doing this because we had a temporary password assigned to this account. Once you're done, click on Save Settings and Update Running Server. Okay, let's go ahead and test this. I'm going to log out and then log back in with the new password I just set up. And here we go. Again, because we had a temporary password, we need to change it to a better password. Click on Sign In. Here we go. We're logged in. So this was a quick uh, video on how to install Access Server on Google Cloud Platform or GCP. Thank you.